Hi, uh, welcome to the basic principle of access management topic. Uh, this is the third topic in architectural concepts, which is very important for an aspiring architects or for the administrators as well. So let's try to understand the basic principle of access management and how this uh, this happens in the cloud. All right, so this is something uh, I, I have created for you guys. Uh, the access management is actually consists of four things: principle, authentication, identity, and authorization. And you need to you need to understand the difference between these four components of an access management. I have seen people get confused in various stages of the access management but after this video you will be absolutely clear what is happening at what stage and there is, there is a, a, a huge difference between authentication and authorization okay always remember that so uh, let's try to understand the principle first principle right here so a person or an application that make an unauthenticated or anonymous request to perform an action on a system is is a principle until you have not identified yourself through the credentials or the API keys or something uh, which is you, which your application accepts okay until then you are just a principle it's just a person or an application for example if I show you let me go here I'm, I'm browsing over this YouTube right I'm just a principal I have not identified myself if I go ahead and click sign in <clears throat> then of course I'll be authenticated user and the owner of Pachera talks channel right or similarly if we talk about let's go to Azure portal which make more sense because we would have a lot of resources where the access matters okay so uh, hope hope this is clear now uh, let me go back okay so browsing like an unauthenticated anonymous user is a principle once you get yourself in once you log in then what you're doing what do you think you are doing you're providing your credentials and you are saying you're trying to prove this is who I am okay that part comes under authentication okay so what is happening under authentication it is just the uh, identifying who you are is the process of authenticating a principle against an identity this could be through user and password API keys and certificates and any other process that your uh, app or website has planned so as per our example if I go here I logged in to the Microsoft Azure now I am an authenticated identity okay so the third part is identity what is identity it's an authenticated principle against an identity so it's an object that require authentication and are authorized to access resources so till now you are just logged in to the portal but what all you can browse you can create you can use depend on authorization okay if I cannot do anything here I'm not authorized to do anything if I can only go and check the virtual machine stat then maybe I'm authorized to see only the virtual machines okay so that is the difference that is the difference between authorization and authentication authentication is finding out you say who you are and authorization what all you can do principle is anything or any any an anonymous user or application which is browsing and did not identified okay 
So if we talk about Azure, we have RBAC, role-based access control, which takes care of access management. And if you talk about AWS, we have IAM, identity access management. In RBAC, we already uh, went through these three things, how RBAC is created with the help of security principle, role, and scope. Security principle is like who is trying to access or do what? What role is what? What they're supposed to do? Or what they can do, rather. Scope is where they can do. For example, it's me, Pachera. I have a role of, uh, see, a reader where only on one resource group that's how it is who what and where i hope uh, this would clear the concept of access management and let's meet in another video thank you very much